hello and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to be filming my January TBR video. This is the first TBR video of the year and there are so many exciting releases coming out in January and just the rest of the year to be honest but this is my TBR cart. Now she's looking a little bit bare at the bottom. That's because I still haven't finished sorting out all my books. So this is like the preliminary TBR cards. But as we go through the months, this obviously will change and become more full um, just from the books that I have, because again, I'm trying not to buy as many books this year. For this TBR video, we're gonna do it the same as the last one because I really enjoyed doing that. I thought it was a little bit more fun. And that is Taylor Swift chooses my TBR. So we have Taylor Swift songs here. I finally made the playlist, guys. Last month was a bit of a mess because I was like, I'll just go on the Taylor Swift complete collection. And we kept getting songs that just weren't in my, selected few so i've made the playlist i will link this below and i will also put on the screen at the end i'm thinking what each of the songs correlates to so in case you guys wanted to choose your tbr from this there are 39 songs i will update this as and when i'm like no for today i was thinking we're going to choose about six or seven books just because i have a lot to get through this month with uni as well so i feel like six or seven is quite good and then i can pick and choose from there but without further ado let's go through and have a look at what we're gonna get so i'm just gonna click play i've put the shuffle button on okay so we have dress so dress is a spicy book which i can't lie i think i keep mentioning this i'm just not interested really in these books anymore but you know this is what t swift has chosen and also maybe this is like giving reputation and tv's coming out soon because i sure hope so nothing is giving that i mean i could go for icebreaker i feel like that could be quite a. Uh, people say there's like i don't know this kind of gives that vibe okay i think i'm gonna choose icebreaker for this one i don't know if that's right or if that that is the kind of book this is but i am feeling like it is because i feel like book talk really love this for that reason um, so yeah the first book we're gonna pop on is icebreaker ready for the next one i'm just gonna click the next button because why not i think he knows okay she fell first he fell harder now this is gonna be a difficult one because i don't know how i'm supposed to know and normally it's he fell first she fell harder but we're going she fell first he fell hard i feel like checking me is not going to be that i feel like checking me is going to be he fell first um what about love light farms i also feel like this is he fell first okay we've got the graham effect maybe the graham effect i'm kind of feeling this one i mean i have i still haven't finished the off campus series because i can't find so silly i can't find the goal in the eki edition and that's the only one i need to complete it and i just don't want to buy the bloom one so i'm constantly searching for that but i don't know if you i'm hoping i mean i've read the deal so surely that's enough i hope that this is she fell first and he fell harder okay let's carry on so the next one we've got ooh, vigilante shit classic from midnight interestingly not a fave for me this one isn't but still vigilante shit is a dark romance i don't know why we're getting so many romance books like i'm just not <laughs> this is not the tbr that i wanted but it's fine um the fall of ruin and wrath is giving it's fantasy romance but it's also kind of giving dark romance this is realistically the only one it can be from the TBR cut. So we're going to put this on. We're going into the TBR cupboard one moment. I do have the like fairy tale twisted series, like twisted and never after novel. I think it's hooked first. Okay. So I do have this dark romance, which I think I might put on instead. So I'm going to put on Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I have no idea. Like, I do think this is some form of piece of pamry telling, but like with Captain Hook, which is just, again, not really my thing, but... I'm willing to give it a go this month i really wanted a lot of literary fiction to come up so far we have three romances so <laughs> it's going really well okay round four this song honestly is one of my favorite Taylor songs of all time a book with ghosts now we're talking now we are talking i'm pretty sure one of these books has ghosts it's not looking great okay so none of these are giving ghost vibes they're giving gothic obviously but not ghost let's have a look at city of bones i don't feel like this is a ghosty book you are screaming at me in the comments i just know okay let me have a look at this this is an olivia blake so we may get some ghosts in this oh okay okay it says these stories of paranormal romance adventure humor and misdeeds um are now available so i'm thinking that this could have something to do with a ghost okay it says um his lost brother trips and falls into another realm, which is giving ghost vibes to me. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Olivia Blake always does ghosty things, so I'm gonna pop on 
Um, the answer you're looking for is yes, a Witch Way anthology by the Queen. So let's pop that on to the TBR. We'll do two more because this is taking me forever for some reason. Bad blood. Friends to enemies, fantasy. T how? That I don't have that. I just don't have that. We're gonna go the next one because it's just not working out. Seven. What's seven? A book with a number in the title. <laughs> great there is oh okay oh actually i have one i have one book with a number in the title and that is that is not that one that is the third policeman by flan o'brien this is my irish comic fiction module and it says third so i'm gonna pop this on and we'll do one more because this this tbr is not gone the way that i wanted it to go next up the other side of the door an on off relationship i was thinking like Mag oh, Magnolia Parks doesn't come out this time. It comes out in February. Well, we're gonna go the next one. This is my TBR. I get to decide what we do. <laughs> gold Rush. What's Gold Rush? What is Gold Rush? A golden retriever love interest. Guys, the romance is just not what I wanted. But a golden retriever. Okay. What's this? I'm gonna go for this one, which is Love Life Harms by BK Boraton. I think that is what we're gonna do. Okay, so these are the books we have for the month of January. We've got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. The Graham Effect by L. Kennedy, which I'm really hoping you don't have to read the entirety of the off-campus series for. Hooked by Emily McIntyre. The answer you're looking for is Yes by Olivia Blake. The Third Policeman by Flan O'Brien. And of course, Love Light Farms by BK Borison. So those are all the books that are gonna be on my TBR. Let me know what's on your January TBR. And I can't wait for some reading vlogs and hopefully you'll get to see me reading them throughout the month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.